In this video, we'll be looking into construction of PDA using final state method. So this is the fifth example. We need to design PDA for the given language. So uh, number of uh, A's should be equal to number of B's. That is what the language says here, where uh, the alphabets we can take here are uh, any number of A's or any number of B's or combination of those or lambda also. So here the language basically says that number of A's uh, should be equal to number of B's. It could be of any order. This is the first point we derive from the given language. So, uh, so we need to keep pushing capital A for all A's. So, when we first, this, this is in case when we first, when uh, A is the first input. In the string, we need to keep pushing A for all A's and then we need to pop A when input B encountered. So, Opposite to that, we need to keep pushing B for all B's and pop B when input um, small a is encountered. This is in case when B is the first input in the string. So let me consider two cases here. So let me take W1 that is A, A, B and A, B, B. A, B, B could be of any order but initially I have taken A, A, B. Next I will take W2 as B, B, A and B, A, A. So this is my W2 string. So so this is my W2 string. So I have taken two strings. So W1 and W2 works for any combination and any length for the given language. Now let's start. Uh, let's start with the case one. We'll deal with W1 as A, A, B, A, B, B. So here uh, initially the stack was empty. Yes. And it was in Q0 state when A was encountered. When A is encountered, we need to push A. Next again A is encountered. So again push A. Next here I have B being encountered. So S, A, A and uh, when B is being encountered, right? B here. Now I have A here. So whenever A is being encountered, so this A, this whenever A is being encountered, we need to uh, change the B to lambda. So in this case, I'll put lambda here, A, A and S. Next I have this B. So this B would be for this A. So Whenever uh, is lambda here, this A would become lambda, A and S. And for this B, again lambda, lambda, this A would turn to lambda and S. And finally, I have S, uh, the stack is empty and the state is changed from Q0 to Q1. So this was in, in the case of, uh, in the case of first word, first string which we have taken. Now second string let's take. B B A B A A. So initially Q not state it was empty. When B was encountered, push B. Again B is encountered. Again push B. Now A is encountered. Push A. Now this B is encountered. This B would cater for this A. So put lambda here B B and S. Again, when this A is encountered, this would cater for 
uh, this B so lambda lambda B and S and finally this A would be for the final B now the stack is empty and the state changes from Q0 to Q1 so I'm done with uh, showing the uh, the sequences of moves made by the uh, in the stack for the two strings now I'll draw the transition diagram for these two so drawing the transition diagram initially they were in um, initially Q0 state and then it changed to final state here is Q1 so here let me write so initially on top of stack initially we have s here and when the input was small a I got a and s as the remaining contents so again when on top of stack I had a here and then again small a was the input I got a a a a s can also be written now I have uh, s and then I have b I have a on top b was red so I should replace it by lambda right similarly when s was there b was red as input I got uh, b and s as the remaining contents then b was there on top of stack and then again b was red so I got b b here b b s or b b then here I have uh, b b was there on top of stack and then a was red so I need to change it to lambda so I am done with the self loop part then q0 to q1 transition happens only when the stack is empty so s lambda over lambda it will change right and I'll have s yes, the stack is empty so I have written the transition diagram for the language here now let's write the transition function for this so to write the transition function I need to write all these so in q0 state I have s a and a s I have s b and b s I have a small a and a a I have b small b and b b I have a b lambda and b a lambda this was for q0 and in q1 I have uh, no q1, q1 there's nothing so I have s lambda and s remaining so I have written all I have written down the pdag now I'll write the transition so here transition of q0 was the initial state and on top of stack I had s and the input which was red is a here this should be equal to I'll write for all these so transition of q0 s and b transition of q0 a and a transition of q0 b and small b transition of q0 a and small b transition of q0 b and small a and here transition of q0 s and lambda so here either the state would change or it would remain in the same state so in this condition q0 s a s a a s s a s it is in the same state right so i'll write q0 itself and the remaining contents in the stack are a and s so i'll write a s here similarly here also q0 and b s here q0 and a here q0 and b b here q0 and there's nothing here so lambda here q0 and lambda in in the case of s lambda s it will change to q1 state right so q1 and s as it is so here i am done with uh, writing the transition function for the language now i'll define the uh, language that is p is i'll define the pda p is equal to q sigma tau uh, transition function q naught z naught and f so i'll start with q so i have considered q naught and q1 to be the two states here sigma the alphabets i've taken here are a and b then i have tau so in tau i have made use of s a and b s a and b right then our transition functions are defined so initially i had q0 as the start state 
and in Z naught it was S and the final or accepting state here is Q1. So here I am done with uh, defining the PDA. So this was all about designing a PDA for the given language. If you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.